Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we got a fun video lined up for you. Head to head, you guys have been waiting for and asking for it for quite a while. I didn't want to get into the flex hype, so I waited a good six to nine months before I actually broke down and bought it. Curiosity got the better of me, because yes, I wanted to try it out and see what it was all about. Got the stupid flex. We're gonna put it up against the cobalt. Now guys, on that short video I just posted about how this blew this out of the water is because this is on the, left on the garage for like two hours, so the battery is cold. And once this is warmed up, it's really close guys. Stick around, it's gonna be a good video. We're gonna weigh them up, we're going over the specs. We'll uh, do a couple different tests, guys. And, uh... All right, guys, first test. We got the eight inch specs here. We got it on high, fully charged up 2.0. That's nice and easy to see in the light there. And see the speed selectors on three. All right, we'll time both these, see which one. Ready? One, two, three, go. Fully charged up, high alpha battery. I'm high, guys. Ready? Get set. Start the clock. Go. All right, we're gonna do the 12 inch construction screw. T30, fresh section of wood, guys. Ready? On hot, here we go, where do they go? Flexes down one bar from the test. All right, ready? On mode three. One, two, three, go. I'm going to stop the testing right there guys because the flex actually broke. Now the fact that this broke just pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for flex for me guys. I'm, whenever I do my testing, you know, I slam my drills down, my impacts down like that, right? So this broke, look at this, let me give you a close up. And no, I wasn't doing like super hard or anything crazy. Yeah. It's like, what a cheap piece of crap. Hey, see that? Look at that? Needless to say, that put the nail in the coffin for flex for me. I mean, it's okay, guys. It's not bad, but if it breaks that easily and at that price point, definitely not construction grade or pro grade tool in my book. When I've been beating the piss out of these two impacts for the last four months, I've had my Ryobi for two years, beat the piss out of that thing hasn't broken. Hell, the damn harp hasn't even broken. I mean, yes, plastics get brittle in the cold, but it wasn't even that cold out when I was testing this. Like right now, it's like 20 degrees out, it's not bad. All right, enough bashing it. It's fast, guys. It is heavier than all of these. Not by much, but a little bit. I do like the quick eject button. It's pretty slick. I really have came to like that over the last month or two since I've had this, a couple months. That's why I like to have tools for a while before I put out my honest opinion, is because at first it might not have broken, but after two months of use, the testing, it broke. It does come with a really awesome fast charger, guys. 160 watt, which is pretty quick. I know it'll charge the two amp 
2 amp, 2.5 amp hour battery. I want to say like 20 or 30 minutes, super fast. The five was under an hour for sure. It might even have been like 15 minutes and 35 minutes. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while. I had a huge snafu with my uh, camera. I sold my DSLR and I was using my old uh, Samsung S10, which is still a 4K camera, guys. Because my DSLR didn't have 4K. Anyways, I got the new S21 Plus. It didn't have enough memory. So I had to go back and swap it out for the S22 Ultra, which now is like 8K and all these sweet features. So hopefully this video looks a lot more clear than the beginning of the video, guys. Videos are coming, guys. It's just been cold and busy. I know you don't give a shit. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I'm not going anywhere. It's just been wicked cold here in Minnesota. Sick of this freaking cold, guys. Um, yeah. If this was 100 bucks, like the DeWalt or the Rayobi, I'd give it a thumb up all day long. But because it broke right there on the heel, I'm neutral on this tool. Um, it's got wicked power, guys. It beat... The Cobalt, it beat the DeWalt. I don't have my Milwaukee anymore, but I'm sure it would have beat that. Now, if you've seen other tests, this did lose when you put in the bigger legs and it starts to slow down. That's where the Milwaukee shines. But uh, other than that, this is a wicked fast impact. It does get hot. Like, I just did probably 10 little tests over there, and it's it's pretty warm for the DeWalt. It's ice cold, and the Cobalt's pretty cold too. I can warm my hands up on it. It's warm enough, yeah. Look at this. That's just it's a bummer. It's got the five modes on it. The light is super bright. I don't like it here. I like when the light is on the face like that. What else? Comes in a hard blow molded case, which I'll never use. Uh, what else? I don't know. I do like the batteries. The concept of the bright light like that is very easy to read, which is slick. It does cool off. Here, let me plug this in and show you guys. It has a built-in fan in the charger. Let's hear that. Watch. Let's hear that. Spot to mount it. We're gonna charge this wicked fast. Hey guys, don't forget hit that like, hit that subscribe. Help support the channel. Keep the ball rolling again. I know I've been super slacking, but. Just been whatever. Nobody cares. Been wicked busy. Kind of lost interest in being out here in the cold, freezing my balls off. Um, hey guys, much love. Stay safe. See ya. Yeah.